The shirt? Uh, the shirt is at shop.doronm.com. Uh, so, how's everyone doing? It's two hours into an open bar, you should be a little louder than that. Um, so, as you've heard from everyone else, you know, it's like stories about their lives and things that happens to them. So, I'm going to foist on you a whole lot of what they call Doronisms. It's basically things I think about to avoid thinking about my life and the things that go on in my life and what's happening to me. Uh, so I'll just launch right into it. Um, I was thinking, uh, we're all in advertising school, and you know, something that's pure marketing genius. Baked glazed potato chip. Think about it. What are the two words that people our age will hear the most? Baked lay. It's right there on the bag. Perfect. So I was thinking, um, well, I read somewhere that the average American comes up with a million dollar idea a year. Uh, not me though, I, I come up with half a million two dollar ideas uh, every year. Uh, this shirt is one of them. Uh, yeah. So, okay, everyone, everyone quiet and, and listen. Here, hold on a sec. I wasn't sure if there was going to be any, so I brought my own awkward silence. <laughs> now, speaking of awkward silences, it's, it's really not funny to get up here and completely forget everything you wanted to say. You know, some people kind of stumble. It's, it's not easy. It's our first time. It's, it's not funny at all. Um, I kind of wish it was funny, because then it, uh, this particular moment would be uh, funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was on the L the other day, and I went up to a guy and I said, Hey, what do you do for a living? And he looked at me and he goes, I'm a zombie. <laughs> so I was driving the other day. I do a lot of things the other day. I'm very busy. <laughs> So I was driving the other day, and I, I drove off the strip mall, and there was a huge banner that said, coming soon. And I thought, wow, what an awesome name for a sex shop. <laughs> <laughs> so while I was driving that same day, I was on the freeway, and I was coming, approaching, uh, you know, heading east, I don't forget which freeway, and uh, there was a huge sign that said, end freeway. And I thought, it's about fucking time someone stood up to those civil engineers. <laughs> and it must have worked, that sign, because at the end, there was, there was no more freeway. It was just a regular road. Uh, which makes me think, isn't it weird that the same people that put up the end construction signs are the ones doing the construction? <laughs> so I've always wanted my own pet store. I've always dreamt of owning a pet store. Uh, a little store that would follow me around and I could nurture it and take care of it. And then when it would grow up, I could release it into the mall. <laughs> Speaking of malls, um, I was taking care of a friend's infant the other day, uh, baby. And I was in the mall. Yes, that shouldn't garner a laugh. I haven't got to the punchline. Um, so it started screaming and crying and shouting, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Um, and then, uh, luckily, there was a changing station nearby. Uh, so I changed the baby for a quieter one. And so everything was cool. My friend was really pissed though, but I said, what? It's, it's quiet and I'm covered in shit. And this one's actually cute. Uh, so uh, when I graduated college many years ago, uh, well, in the late 90s, I, I moved to San Francisco. I wanted to be a venture communist. <laughs> Or venture socialist. It didn't really work out. We all just made a little bit of money. <laughs> so on one of my trips, I was um, I was in Utah, in Salt Lake City, and I was watching CNN about the war in Iraq. And I noticed that they would bleep out the word Fallujah, because they, they don't do that there. <laughs> So I read somewhere um, that in America, women get 75 cents for every dollar a man earns, which is pretty unfortunate, uh, but on the bright side, uh, we get to keep 25 cents. 
So don't you hate it when you're like down at the Bahamas, you know, you go to spend the, you know, a lot of money on a big vacation, you get there and it's like raining and just shit and crap weather, and they say, eh hey, man, you should have been here last week, it was spectacular, it was beautiful. That fucking sucks, that doesn't help you. That's like me coming up here and saying, well, okay, none of you laughed, but last week I was fucking awesome. <laughs> you should have been here. So before I moved to Chicago, I was cleaning out the basement and I saw this, this box and it says, please retain for your records. And I was like, oh, so I opened it, and oh, it was my turntable. <laughs> so a lot, of people talk, <laughs> a lot of people talk about sex and stuff, you know, in these shows. Um, and I'm not really one to talk about my sex life up here. Um, but the other day, I was uh, going, <laughs> it was one of those days. <laughs> Uh, so the other day I was, uh, you know, going down with this girl, and I'm, I'm proud to say she got off before me, because the laundry room is on the sixth floor, and I was going down to the basement. <laughs> Speaking of laundries, um, I was actually moving my stuff from the washer to the dryer, and I thought, hey, I'll have a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> Speaking of laundromats, I hate, you know, shared laundromats and shared like gyms and swimming pools and, and the fact that there's so many people around and sharing walls with people. I, I don't like living near so many people. I, I think I have an apartment complex. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.